In the second half of 1942, the scope of the Second World War reached its peak, and the development of weapons and equipment was also in full swing. In order to improve the tactical mobility of artillery, Canada proposed a plan for a 6x6 towing vehicle, which eventually evolved into a new armored weapon jointly developed by the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada. The development plan of the towing vehicle was based on the modification and development of the Ford 6x4 truck. By installing a self-locking differential, the structure was achieved as 6x6. In December 1942, this plan was designated as Project 48 by the U.S. Army Technical Development Committee. The plan aimed to develop a highly mobile and low-profile 6x6 light-armored vehicle for transporting troops, supplies, or directly producing light self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. The United States selected three Ford chassis for modification. The first two modified vehicles were a 4 Dow 6 unarmored towing vehicle and a 6 Zyak 6 light armored vehicle, while the third one was a light self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The vehicle chassis used a 95-horsepower 4-liter engine. It was expected that a larger horsepower engine and larger tires would be installed in the production model. The frame and steering mechanism were also adjusted accordingly to meet the new driving requirements. The overall length of the vehicle was about 536 meters, width about 2.1 meters, height about 1.4 meters, and weight about 7.2 tons. The maximum speed was between 80 and 100 kilometers per hour. It was a very low-profile military vehicle. After the preliminary design by the United States, the vehicle chassis was shipped to Canada for further modification. However, Canada and the United States had different views on the armored vehicle, and there were differences in technical understanding. For example, Canada was dissatisfied with the self-locking differential from the United States, and the United States believed that it was inappropriate for the vehicle to be mass-produced by Canada. As for the development of this armored vehicle, the United Kingdom was very interested after all, compared to the United States and Canada. The United Kingdom was at the forefront, especially in the North African battlefield, where there was a lot of bloodshed. So the demand for new equipment was the most urgent. In a report in March 1943, it was mentioned that the newly developed 6x6 armored vehicle had achieved the design expectations in terms of technical development, whether it was used as an artillery towing vehicle or a light self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The vehicle underwent testing by the United States in July, followed by testing in Canada in August, and then it was refurbished and shipped to the United Kingdom for testing. The test conclusion from the United States was that the vehicle had strong maneuverability, surpassing existing similar wheeled vehicles, and could easily tow the QF six-pounder gun. The testing by the United Kingdom was more comprehensive and reliable, after all. It was likely that British soldiers would be driving it into battle after being equipped. The test results had both positive and negative aspects. Firstly, the vehicle's low profile and armored protection were recognized. It could tow the QF six-pounder gun while carrying six artillerymen and 72 rounds of ammunition. It was the fastest towing vehicle tested by the British so far. On the other hand, the vehicle's off-road performance was insufficient. It even got stuck during testing, and the vehicle lacked a winch, so it couldn't self-rescue after a breakdown. The steering structure of the vehicle had too small of an angle, and the originally compact vehicle had a turning radius of 21 meters. The vehicle's structure was too focused on compact design, making maintenance inconvenient. Even the engine required a lot of disassembly for repairs. After testing by the United Kingdom, the future of this 6x6 armored vehicle seemed to come to a halt. However, in April 1944, the United States discontinued production of some vehicle models, and the development of new models was put on the agenda again. The British proposed the idea of increasing the size and weight of the vehicle. According to estimates, the design work would take about six months to complete, and establishing a production line for mass production would take about 18 months. Compared to the first two vehicle models, the development of the third model, the light self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, seemed to be more relaxed. After all, the first two models focused on chassis performance, 
and the self-propelled anti-aircraft gun could directly use their technical achievements, so the focus was on the development of the 4 pos 20 mm quadruple anti-aircraft gun. In August 1943, the self-propelled anti-aircraft gun equipped with the quadruple 20 mm anti-aircraft gun underwent testing in Canada. It underwent over 1,000 kilometers of road tests, including a 100-kilometer high-speed experiment. The artillery firing tests were also extensive. The shooting results at a distance of 1,000 yards were very accurate, with a dispersion of only 45 centimeters. The gunner reported that the vehicle platform hardly shook during shooting and it was a reliable vehicle. Although the related development work resumed in the summer of 1944, the development work was directly affected by the development of the Second World War. This 6x6 armored vehicle with a futuristic appearance was not able to reach its final stage of development. 